Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at how to upgrade the memory and fit an SSD to a Lenovo B50 laptop. Uh, this particular model is the B5080, but all laptops using the chassis design should be very similar. And it's a dead easy machine to do this on. I've looked at the G50 in the past as well, and it's not identical chassis, but very similar. Um, I'm going to do things slightly out of order here. First of all, I'm going to take out these two screws. What I really should have started out with, though, is we'll just remove these two screws, hold this base on. But before I do that, I'm going to unlatch and then release on this side and remove the battery. Now, with these two screws here removed, we can just slide the base down and off. And that gives us the hard drive here. Um, we have this little isolate, yeah, this little metal cover over it, and a Lenovo sticker here. That's a little warranty sticker, so unfortunately that has torn, but we're not going to worry too much about that. Um, now we have two screws for the drive, one here. And one here. And undoing those will allow us to release the hard drive. So we're going to lift that up and just push the drive to the side. Then we have four screws holding these rails in. So we will remove these. And the sort of tape on here holds the rails around the drive, so we'll have to sort of unwrap all of that. Additional two screws here. And with those removed, we should now lift this up and we can just lift the drive out the caddy and in its place we're going to fit this SanDisk SSD. As the drive is a 7mm height drive we don't need the spacer for it. Also if you're fitting just a traditional hard drive into one of these machines be aware you need a 7mm drive to fit the caddy. As this is a new machine, but I don't want the sort of Lenovo pre-install on it, I'm not transferring the existing data from it. Uh, typically if I do, I use something like a Cronus True image, but in this case I'm just going to do a clean Windows install. So with that done, we now just need to position the drive back in place. And then slide it back onto the SATA there. And put in the two screws. While we're in here as well, we could also add an additional memory module here if we chose to. So, as usual, two little tabs here to remove the existing module, and you can just slot another one in place there as well. You can also, if you ever need to pull the BIOS battery, it's just under this panel, and the wireless card as well, if for any reason you wanted to replace that. I hope you found this video useful and be sure to subscribe to this channel to keep in touch with what we're doing and thanks for watching.